So, as most of you probably know, recently the first couple of trailers dropped for Miraculous Season 4, and there was a whole bunch of interesting plot points revealed for the upcoming storylines. If you haven't watched those trailers yet, I'd recommend doing that now before you watch any more of the video. They're all uploaded on YouTube, so it should be pretty easy to find them with a quick search. Anyway, today I thought I'd give a quick breakdown of the two trailers, and then maybe go a little more in detail on some of the things I found to be more interesting. So, starting off with trailer 1, we see Master Fu and his love interest from Season 3 seemingly returning from being in hiding. Now, I was initially shocked to see them in the first trailer for the new season, so I had to double check that it wasn't a flashback scene from Season 3. So that means I guess we're seeing a little bit of Master Fu in Season 4, but I think this is pretty much going to be a cameo appearance. At least, I hope so for the writing's sake. I think it would be pretty bad writing to bring him back straight away and just restore his memory so he can guide Marinette again. Marinette probably does need a helping hand going forward, but since Hawkmoth knows his identity, it can't really be him anymore. However, I can see Marinette getting some wisdom from him in general, even if he can't remember the Miraculouses. More just getting some closure and some much needed life advice from some chill old dude. I am still a bit surprised to see him back so soon after his farewell in Season 3 was built up by the creators to be this huge emotional moment, but whatever. As long as it works with the story, there's no problem for me. The next big reveal in the first trailer was Gabriel using the Peacock and the Butterfly Miraculous at the same time. And I liked this. It feels like a natural progression of the character. Mayura, whilst interesting at times, felt like a bit of an unnecessary character. Hawkmoth can do the job, and it helps to streamline the plot. Plus, it just makes more sense for him to use it. He already gets other people to do his bidding, so he doesn't really need a partner. And if Ladybug's strong enough to use multiple Miraculouses at the same time, surely he should be strong enough to at least use two. However, on the downside, I'd add that this seems to hint that Natalie's going to be bedridden for the foreseeable future in Season 4, so... Saddle up for some awkward hospital bed flirting. The final big story point for this trailer was the akumatization of multiple people at once. And I know what you're thinking. Dude, that's not out of the ordinary. It's happened before. It happened with Felix, and there were countless akumatized victims in the Season 2 finale. But usually when akumatizing multiple people, the akuma goes into an item that the victims are holding, or multiple akumas are used. But this wasn't the case. They all just transformed at the same time. They do cut away pretty quick, so it's difficult to see how it's being done, and I don't really have a theory here at the moment, I just thought it was pretty interesting. And now we'll move on to the next trailer, which is what I'm arguably more excited about, as there was a way bigger reveal. The return of a guardian. We see a guardian take the miracle box away from Marinette, and summon the Kwamis back into it. Now, I hate being smug, but I'm gonna be smug, and I say I did call this happening. Finally, finally, one of my theories is actually true. In a previous video, I speculated that the Guardians would return and try and take the Miraculouses away from Marinette because she's not a true Guardian to them, because Fu was only a novice and therefore wasn't really able to make that decision. So, I expect this guy to take them off her and for her to be all depressed and need to prove herself by taking out an Akumatized villain, and then he'll give him back and head off back to his temple. I doubt he's going to stick around for long, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him turn up from time to time, especially during bigger plot points. For this episode, I'd expect Cat Noir is going to play a much bigger role, as he doesn't have his Miraculous taken in the trailer, as he wasn't with Ladybug and the Guardian at the time. I would say that this would be an exciting opportunity for Cat Noir to prove himself and lead the team in a unique one-off, but let's be real. If we say that, the writers are going to somehow find a way to give Ladybug the Cat Miraculous and Adrian's going to sit at home in his room. I think the most likely scenario is him teaming up with a powerless Ladybug in a silly costume, which would make for a fun dynamic and probably help set it apart from other episodes. Plus, it would let Adrian prove himself without outshining Ladybug, and would tie into him being Ladybug's emotional anchor, like they set up in the New York special. Now, I wouldn't go thinking that this is all a setup for one episode, although having Master Fu returning whilst introducing a new Guardian does allude to that a little bit. But I just doubt it. It feels too crowded to have all these plot points in one episode converge. Although I think it might fit into a two-parter. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Regardless though, there's a whole lot more to be revealed in the coming months, including the Shanghai special to look forward to. Honestly, I'm actually really pumped by all these trailers. I know a lot of people were a bit disappointed by the end of Season 3, but I think the New York special was really good, and the stuff we're seeing of Season 4 so far seems really promising, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But now I want to throw it to you guys. What do you think about the trailers? Like them? Hate them? Any theories or predictions you want to share? I'm curious to hear what you have to say, so make sure to leave a comment and let me know.